Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about one of my main tips for starting a color grade in Photoshop. And it's a really, really good trick to use when you're not really sure where to go with your color grading and you just want a place to start from. Now, in one of my last tutorials, my five Photoshop tips and tricks, I did actually mention that there was another tip for a similar situation using photo filter under adjustment layers. And I do feel like that's a really good tip still. And I do think that that is a good way to uh, start your color grades and to get a starting platform, I guess, for them. But I do feel like this is an even better and more comprehensive way to really find out where you want to go with your color grading on your images. I do highly recommend you go and check out that video if you haven't already, because it is still a good tip. But like I said, if you really want to see a great place to start with your color grading, then keep watching. So I've actually got two images today that I'm going to perform this trick on because I've got one from a fashion editorial look and then also one from a beauty editorial look. Now, I find that beauty images, and I've said this before, are quite hard to color grade at times because most of the image is uh, skin tones and you can't really push them too far in either direction when you're looking at doing a color grade. So you can't always do something a little bit crazier with them. However, when you're looking at photos like this one here, when you've got a little bit more of a background location in the shot, it can look a little bit more interesting to try a lot more different color grades. So I'm just gonna test this trick out today on both images and show you guys what the difference difference would be. And we're also going to use adjustment layers today for doing this. So I'm going to go down to the adjustment layer panel just down here. And in this box, we're going to click on that and then go to gradient map. So I'm going to change the blending mode of this layer first off. We've got the default gradient map just over here with those colorings. But for now, we're just going to change this setting to soft light. Now you can choose a few different blending modes. However, I do find that soft light is the best because I tend to work that way with my images. I tend to prefer a softer look and a softer color grade. And I do find that the colors show through really well from gradient map by using this technique. So I'm going to click on soft light and then we're going to move the opacity down to around about 20%. And we can always alter this later. We can make it a little bit heavier if we want the color grade to stand out more or a little bit less. But for now, this is going to be enough for us to see what the colors actually look like from the gradient map that we're using. Then I'm going to go over here to this box and I'm going to click on it. And now is where we're going to perform the start of our color grade. Now I'm going to go over to this box here where it says solid in the drop down menu. And we're going to instead choose noise. Now that's really going to separate a lot of different colors that we're looking at in the image here. And we're going to make this a lot more of an interesting process now. I'm also going to uncheck the box that says restrict colors because I usually find with restrict colors, it does restrict them too much. And I find that when I'm searching for that perfect color grade, I really just want as many different options as I can get. So we're just gonna do that for now. And here is where the magic happens by clicking this button here that says randomize. So we're gonna click this button and we're gonna see what it actually comes up with. Okay, so here's our first randomized color grade. So this is really good. Like I said, if you wanna find out uh, where to start with your color grading, you can pretty much go anywhere from here. This is basically an automated way of finding the right tones that you want in your image and building on that. Uh, so from here, you could go and do basically anything with adjustment layers that you would usually do, whether that's changing the curves or the levels in the image, or even changing a bit of the color balance if you're not 100% happy with the colors, but the overall look is pretty much what you're after. There's so many different things that you can do here. What I usually like to do if I'm comparing uh, different color grades that this option has to offer, I will click OK in this box and then go and take a snapshot and then come back to the box and randomize again, just so I've got a few different options there uh, if I want them later on. This is also a really good way to show clients if you're testing out color grades for particular images or commercial work. This is a really good way to give them different options of color grades that you like uh, in an easier technique and you're not going to have to think too much about it. I personally always find that it comes down to warm or cool tones and I'm so sick of that because uh, it's just not diverse enough in terms of the tones that I really want to achieve. And I've found that this technique is really helping me just thinking too much about the color grading because that can really get on people's minds and photographers minds sometimes when you do have to think too much about it. So I'm going to randomize a few more times now and take a few more snapshots and show you guys the difference between each color grade that we've started off with.
So I'm now going to go through a few of these color grades with you guys and show you what I've come up with so far. So looking through, this is the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one and the fifth one. So I'm really loving quite a few of those as a starting point. And I feel like that's a lot more than I could have achieved by just thinking to myself, okay, warm or cool. You can see that there's so much variety in the colors that have been achieved by using this technique. And really, like I said, it's just a, a matter of building upon that uh, when you're looking for the right color grade for your own images. And as I said before too, you can choose a different blending mode. I like to stick with soft light a lot of the time. However, you can use lots of different blending modes here. If you want a stronger color grade, uh, you can choose hue or you can choose color as well. That sometimes works really well. However, I think for me, I just like to use soft light because it tends to uh, match the luminosity in the image as well. And I just kind of prefer that. Uh, you can also move up the opacity if you want a stronger color grade or a less noticeable one as well. Now we're going to move on to the next image, which is the beauty image, and we're going to perform the same technique again. So you guys can see I've done my dodging and burning down here, and uh, just ignore these file names, by the way. I'm super lazy when it comes to naming my files, and it's one thing that I can never get a hold of very well. I can just never force myself to name my files properly, so I really need to do that and fix that, so just ignore that for now. But I'm going to go into doing the same technique again on this image now. So we're just going to go over to the adjustment layers again, click on gradient map. And then we're going to set the blending mode again to soft light. But this time we're going to set the opacity to a little bit of a lower level. So probably around, I'd say around 8%. Because like I said, this image is mainly a skin tone. So it's really important that we don't push the colors too far. So I'm going to leave it at 8% and we're going to click on this box again. So once we clicked on that box, we are going to once again change the gradient type to noise instead of solid. And we're going to uncheck restrict colors. And the fun part again, we're going to start randomizing. So we're just going to click this box again. And you guys can see the different tones that it's going to come up with. So once again, I'm just going to take a few snapshots for you guys of different color grades that this technique is going to produce, and then I'll go through it at the end with you guys. Okay, so I'm just going to go through a few of the color grades that we've achieved with that technique and show you guys the difference between each of them. So this is the first one. This is a bit more of a stronger color grade. I'd probably pop the opacity down a little bit further on that to make it not too saturated, or I could just also use a hue and saturation adjustment layer on top. So the second is this one here, third, and then fourth. So these ones are a little bit more subtle and definitely what I prefer when working with beauty images. As I said, it can be quite difficult to manage the skin tones as well as a color grade on top sometimes. So that's why I do prefer to have everything a little bit softer for that. So I hope you guys have really enjoyed this tutorial. This has definitely saved me a lot of time of thinking through a color grade too much and just kind of getting on with the job because sometimes that's what you need to do and you just wanna be able to pick that right color grade. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do and click the notification bell to make sure you see all the videos that I have in future. If you like this tutorial, please let me know. And if you have any questions, please put them down in the comments section below. If you'd like to see a tutorial of how to take these color grades and actually use them on other images. If you find one that you really like, let me know and I can probably do that in one of my next videos. Uh, I really feel like that's a, a useful tip that people should probably know. But if you guys are really interested in that, please let me know because I'm always after what you guys wanna see on my channel as well. So I hope this tutorial really helped you guys out and I will see you in the next video. Bye.